analyzing the changing movement of an object, as I'm doing on the computer, was quite foreign to Greek and to Islamic minds. They looked always for what is unchanging and static, a timeless world of perfect order. The most perfect shape to them was the circle. Motion must run smoothly and uniformly in circles. That was the music of the spheres. That's why the Ptolemaic system was built up of circles, along which time ran uniformly and imperturbably. But movements in the real world are not uniform, and they cannot be analyzed with the mathematics of antiquity. That's a theoretical problem in the heavens, but it's practical and immediate here on Earth. In the flight of a projectile, in the spurting growth of a plant, in the single splash of a drop of liquid that goes through abrupt changes of shape and direction. The Renaissance did not have the technical equipment to stop the picture frame instant by instant. But the Renaissance had the intellectual equipment, the inner eye of the painter and the logic of the mathematician. That's how Kepler, after the year 1600, became convinced that the motion of a planet is not circular and not uniform. It's an ellipse along which the planet runs at varying speed. 